Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you like this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And what we discuss today may be the most underrated and best kept secret in the Rolex catalog, because this is the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Yachtmaster 37, reference 268622, with platinum bezel and stainless steel case and bracelet. This model was released in 2016 alongside its dark rhodium dial 40 millimeter counterpart, but a timepiece that's both more discreet and technically more advanced. This might be my choice from the entire Yachtmaster family. Let's consider what this watch has to offer. At 37, it feels like a 1950s Rolex sub, and indeed, its dimensions are almost identical to a sub from that period. It's a modern watch with the stance and charm of a vintage watch. It's also reasonable slim too, 10.8 millimeters thick. Just to give you a sense of scale, a Daytona is 12.2, so this is an excellent match for a dress cuff or a truly tight sleeve. Lug to lug, well, there are two ways of measuring this, as with all solid end link Rolex bracelets. 43.6 from lug to lug is the size of the case. That's quite similar to a 36 millimeter date just now. If you include the solid end links of the Oyster bracelet, you get a more substantial 47 millimeters lug to lug. Once again, for scale, a Omega Moonwatch Classical Speedmaster Professional is 48 millimeters lug to lug on a strap, so you get a sense of where this watch stands in the pantheon of well known references. The bracelet, the case, the bezel, the dial, everything is proportioned such that in isolation this could be the 40. And if I were to do this, come real close, focus in, and show you the watch at close range, you'd be hard pressed to tell from that thumbnail, if that were my thumbnail, that the watch isn't its big brother. So proportionally, the watch is a big success. The bracelet is an oyster. Polished center, satin flanks, and matched with the sportier of the two Rolex deployed clasps, the one with a clamshell. It actually has a smart system. There is a trigger with a hook and a beak internally, and you can see that system. So when it closes, you can't just pull it open. There are two locks. One is the hook and the beak trigger system. The other is a clamshell, so it's sure tight. And then you have the integration of the clamshell so it's flush both laterally and vertically with nothing but a kerf for which you can Thank Rolex designers because it allows you to easily dig your nail and entirely finished internally. This has all the hallmarks of a Rolex premium clasp. You have those three different anchoring points inside the bracelet, or inside the bracelet clasp, I should say, so you can actually change the anchoring point of the bracelet. But you also have the Easy Link adjustment system that on this bracelet, as on the larger ones, represents the removal or addition of one sizable link, and all of those fitted with screws. Jumping back to the case, it's seamless, very much like the Yacht Master. Everything has just been performed on a different scale. Proportionally, it looks identical. That's the master stroke. It's also not the case you associate with Rolex rotating bezel sports watches. This isn't what you get on a Sea Dweller, a Sub, or a GMT. It's a little bit more elegant. It really does feel more like a time-only Daytona case in profile, right down to these flattened feet at the end of the lugs. The bezel is all of platinum, and you'll appreciate that fact because back in 1992 when the Yacht Master launched, it was launched as a sort of what might have been Luxury Submariner. The original Yacht Master was supposed to be the successor to the sub, and it was originally designed as a posher, luxurious sub. Well, Rolex felt it couldn't do that to the sub because of what it represented historically, so they launched the Yacht Master as a richer aquatic timepiece for those who enjoy their sports above the waves on deck, and thus you have this bi-directional solid platinum bezel that you can line up with a minute hand. You can use it to time just about anything, but it was originally intended for timing the countdown to a match of a regatta or a yacht race. The dial was a standout at 2016 Basel World. What appears to be ruthenium is actually dark rhodium in a sunburst Let's give ourselves a bit more light here so we can appreciate that to the max. But you can see that the grain is deep and explosive. The indices as well as the hands are white gold. A few well-chosen shocks of azure blue really bring out the depth of that dark rhodium base. And then you have the Cyclops eye, which, like everything else, has been scaled down so that proportionally it looks correct. It doesn't explosively devour the dial as it would if it had been the standard 40 millimeter piece. So even this right down to the magnifier glass downsized and scaled down, not just shrunken. Crown guard for protection against shearing, and you'll note a 
Rolex trip lock crown, this is a 100 meter water resistant watch. It doesn't have the twin lock characteristic of the 100 meter Rolexes. It has the trip lock that we know from the more robust divers. Underneath the case back, the real miracle of this watch next to the scaling of the bigger watch is the motive power, Rolex caliber 2236. This is not a smaller 3135. This has a silicon hairspring. Rolex is only example. It's called Siloxi. It has a 55 hour power reserve, not a 48 hour power reserve like the 40 millimeter model. It still has hacking seconds. It still has a quick set date, 28.8 beat rate, 31 joules, smooth bi-directional winding, COSC certified chronometer, then cased up and rechecked to perform no worse than minus two plus two seconds per day. That's the superlative chronometer designation. Still with a free sprung balance, still with a full balance bridge for shock resistance, but this one has just a little bit more power reserve and a little bit more resistance to magnetism. Possibly the best sports watch Rolex makes and certainly the best kept secret. You can see this one and make it yours on the watch box. Rolex Yachtmaster 37, a little giant.